the nice cars, the nice clothes, the nice houses. Life was good. Growing up for Rafael Ruiz, the date is 2015 and we're in Portugal. And I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I had a tough childhood. I grew up from poverty and had to come from the ground up. I'm gonna be honest. I've had everything handed to me throughout my entire life. I was lucky enough to come from a great background, a great family living in one of the most expensive houses in all of Portugal. But the thing about me is, I've never touched a football, a soccer ball in my life. In fact, I really had no interest in the sport whatsoever. I was so caught up in the money, in the fame, in the nice cars, but to be honest, boys, the one thing that always came first was family. And no matter what, to end the day, to end the week, I was always spending time with my family, getting close to them. And, and growing up, I owed them everything. And this wealthy lifestyle was one that I was extremely grateful for. But with that being said, it wasn't long before things changed. Change for the worse. You see, my childhood was great up into a point when one fateful night, one terrible night would change everything, would change the course of my life, would change the course of my career, would tear me away from my family, but would eventually bring me to the game of football. I arrived home one night to police cars surrounding my house, a helicopter, sirens everywhere, and my family. There, in handcuffs, between police officers. They, they'd done something wrong. And what they'd done was something that, well, I don't know if I'd ever be able to repay them for. What the police told me, what my family told me on that night, well, they'd done something bad. Very bad. They'd been leading a second life almost. And the reason we were so wealthy, well, you're about to find out. The reason I grew up living the way I did with the nice cars houses, well, there's a reason for that. My family, my parents were leading a double life of crime, of robbery, in up until now, they'd never been caught, but it was bound to happen at some point. On days where I would be in school taking classes, this is what they'd be doing to earn their money and to help us lead this wealthy and rich lifestyle. And them getting caught, them getting arrested was bound to happen. And they never told me about any of this. I was left in the dark. And now as an only child, I'm gonna be left alone. My parents sent to jail, and it wasn't just my father. It was both parents, and this had been going on for years. Somehow, some way, they'd never been caught. They'd never been arrested. But today was the day, and I had one final chance to talk with my parents before they'd be sent away. And I, I didn't know what I was gonna do. A young teenage boy, alone, no family, no parents, no real friends to stay with either. I, I was gonna have to grow up by myself. And things from here on out would change drastically. There was nowhere to go. For the first time in my life, I was alone. I didn't know what to do, who to see, who to talk to. I was out on the streets, going from living in a multi-million dollar mansion to this. I'd stumbled around town and came across a football pitch. I'd never played, I'd never even been interested in the sports, but I needed something to pass the time. So I gave it a go. I started kicking around and I, I wasn't too bad. Playing pickup games in the park, I, I slowly became 
one of the better players in town. And I, I ended up meeting a friend. A friend who become sort of a lifelong friend. And he's someone that you know all too well. A man who goes by the name of Joao Felix. Yes, that's right, the Joao Felix. We were friends growing up. We played football for years, and we were both very good. You know Joao, but for me, I had to prove myself. And it wasn't long before both of us had our chance to sign for professional clubs. Joao went to Befica, but for me, I, I had no offers. And I still had a lot of work to do if I wanted to make it to the big stage. And as we grew up, as Joao signed to play for the Befica Youth Academy, he eventually made his way up to their main team. And I was still at this same pitch, training, working, hoping one day I'd get that contract offer. I'd get that chance for a team. All I needed was a chance, someone that believed in me. And it, it, it was tough. Watching one of your good friends succeed and then having to, to continue to work to, to again get that one chance and opportunity and it wasn't long before Joao moved on and became the player you know today the 120 million dollar signing for Atletico Madrid and I had to watch this all happen behind the scenes yes we talked but as Joao's career started to take off our talks became less frequent he just didn't simply have the time, or did he simply just not care about me anymore? Either way, we continued to train, day in and day out, and football was it for me. The only thing left in life that I really cared about. It was going pro or bust, and you see, that opportunity would come sooner than I expected. At the pitch training one day, I was greeted by a scout, a scout from Befica. Apparently, my friend Joao Felix, as he was leaving Befica, he gave one of the scouts a tip to come check me out and give me a workout with the team. And that workout would eventually lead to me being offered my first career contract. And at this point, as a young kid growing up in Portugal, not knowing anywhere else, it only made sense to stay here at home stick with my roots and sign with this club and now there's only one thing left to do sign the contract and begin our journey begin our career with Befica this is the story of the Portuguese legend Rafael Ruiz and welcome to the FIFA 20 cinematic my player with storylines let's sign this contract and begin our career Welcome ladies and gentlemen, episode number one of the long-awaited FIFA 20 My Player Career Mode with Storylines. I hope you enjoyed that extra long intro. This season's My Player, as always, I'm trying to top last year's. I'm trying to make it better than ever with the cutscenes, with the storylines, with the gameplay. And here's our pro, Rafael Ruiz, the Portuguese striker. We are going with a younger um, build here, only around 5'7 for his height, under 140 pounds as well. The hairstyles, we got um, the dreadlocks, and um, let me know what you guys think. As always, this is your series as much as it is mine. So if you want anything changed, you know, comment section with your storyline suggestions, with any special requests, hairstyles, um, all of that can be changed. And we're into it, boys. In to the career leave a thumbs up if you guys are hyped for episode number one and hyped for this series the goal for this one is 5,000 likes if we can do that it would be insane i hope you guys are ready for this i cannot wait a portuguese striker is what we went with here are some of the stats attributes there is a major glitch with the my player career mode right now unfortunately as you can see right there we start off with four star skills 
but you can still unlock three star skills. So technically you can get seven star skills, but once you hit seven star skills, it resets you back to zero star skills. So I'm hoping that bug is going to be fixed soon. Career mode's kind of broken as FIFA 20 has been released, but we're going to try to ignore that. We're going to get into this. 20 years old is what we start out as. Yeah, unfortunately, um, EA does not let you make your pro younger than the age of 20. And I don't have any of the cheat engines yet, the mods yet for the PC. So I will be able to change our player's age probably for the next my player. But to start out, Rafael Ruiz, the 20-year-old Portuguese striker. Are you guys hyped for this as much as I am? Because I don't think you are. <laughs> Here are some of the stats, man. We got upwards of 80 pace, 75 finishing right there. Yeah, 82 acceleration, 81 agility, one star weak foot, four star skill moves. And there it is, boys. We got to work our way up from the ground up to unlock the traits, the attributes. Hopefully, by the end of the series, we can get our player to at least a 90 overall. That would be insane getting into our first training session of the episode and this series is going to be a lot similar to the past my player series we have done where we are going to speed things up in this it's going to be around five episodes per season so get ready for a lot of storylines a lot of games in a quick amount of time by the end of like the first few months i want to be like six or seven seasons into this and my, my plan this year, as I did last year, is to do multiple my players. So if you don't like the Portuguese one, don't worry. There's going to be a few more my players later on in the year. But we're here. And it's time to work our way back to the top. And it's time to get out from under my parents' shadows. Signing with this team, so many people knew me simply because of what my family did in the past. And I want to get rid of of that bad reputation and with that it's also time for us to work our way back from the ground up and get back to that lifestyle we used to lead starting out at Befica isn't going to be easy as we're not making too much money to start our career it's going to be enough to get by but as always i'm trying to become one of the best players in the world a true portuguese legend it's not going to be easy but the path to that the road to glory starts now. Game number one of our career, Liga Nos, boys. This should be a season where we absolutely dominate. Of course, the teams that are going to stand in our way, Sporting and Porto as well. The three big clubs here in Portugal. Those are the clubs standing in our way. But also this year, a chance to shine in European competition. If we get the starts, we're going to be playing but will I be playing? Will the manager trust me enough, a 20-year-old with little experience to start the Champions League? We can't get too far ahead of ourselves, boys. I'm just lucky enough to be starting in game number one here in the Liga Nos. Let's get into it. Starting 11 for our team right here. They run a two-striker formation, so there's going to be opportunities this year to get plenty of action, plenty of game time. Here we go. We're starting at that left striker, a 4 4 2 that's what we're rocking with. Let's go, boys. Game number one. Can we get a debut goal? Can we get a like as well? That'd be awesome, boys. Smash that like button and let's do it. Game one, kickoff. Let's see what we can do. We need to shine here, press our manager so that we can be starting every day because you never know when opportunities like this are going to come and to start the game. It's a mistake and it is a goal for Befica. Not for myself, but my teammate. What is this pass though? And what is the defense doing? Just standing there watching the ball. We'll take the goal though, one nil. There it is, boys. Hopefully it's gonna be like this all year. Just complete domination in the Portuguese league. I mean, look at this right here. He, all he has to do is clear it. And the, the defenders right there are just standing there watching the ball. It's one nil. What a way to start this game, to start this episode, to start our career. But I still want that debut goal. I want to score. And could it come in the first half? A debut goal in the 20th minute. boys 2-0 this early on in the game i can already tell it's gonna be a fun season with this club we put this one in with our weak foot what a start man one star skills on our weak foot but hey man it's as easy as that it's as easy as you like and 
again, it, it might just be complete domination this year from us here at a Bay Fika. One goal, hopefully, it's going to be one of many we score. And as for our character build, as I'm looking at our boy Rafael Ruiz, I'm loving our hairstyle, man. Let me know what you think about it. Is it something that we should keep? Should we change? There's so many more hairstyles this year for FIFA 20. I freaking love it. I love the customization. Unfortunately, as you can tell, the My Player mode, in terms of menus, features, hasn't really changed much whatsoever. But we have the new customization, which is very, very cool. And that is going to be it for the first half right here. We have ourselves a score of 2-0. And it's time to continue to add on to that. Can we get two goals in our debut? I also want to start passing a little bit more. Yes, I'm a striker. My main job is to score the goals. But um, passing is something that I definitely want to focus on. You guys just saw that cross right there in the previous play. It's looking good, man. For a player who's never had professional football experience, this is a great opportunity. And the fact that I'm starting in game one is just incredible. Here, 77th minute. We're searching for that third goal, imagine this would have gone in. A long shot, a monster strike from outside the box. Our opposition, they were getting their chances, but they really just couldn't do much of anything, and that would be how the game ends. You guys are going to have to help me with a lot of these pronunciations from the teams in the Portuguese league, because some of them, like the team we're playing right now, um, I, do, I just don't want to try to pronounce, because I know I'm going to butcher it. That is it. Game one ends. It's a score of 2-0. It's a debut goal. What a way to start our career. Hopefully... That's going to be the first goal of many throughout this long career. So even though we had a big game in that last one, our manager, well, let's just say the faith isn't exactly there. We scored the goal, but in our next one, a huge match against Porto, we're on the bench. It's understandable, man. I, I just, I, I even agree, I'm probably not ready for that big of a stage just yet. Some transfers going on around the league, so a few of the more recent transfers have not been updated since I started this career mode before the actual release of the game. So that's why you saw Lozano there moving from PSV to Chelsea. Um, yeah, but a bunch of other transfers taking place right there. Jungman Son linked to Real Madrid. Also Insigne linked to Real Madrid, but... The transfer window would come to an end of Bayfica to make some signings, but we didn't really do all too much in the window. You can see that player brought in for 8 mil, and time would run out, and that would be it for our first month of our career. Another game coming up. We're in the starting 11, but that's going to take place in next episode. We're back to the training grounds, back to work, back to the grind. It's crazy. Going from that small pitch to now training with the likes of Bayfica on these incredible pitches with all these great facilities in use. But as much as this start to the career is great, and I'm looking forward to it, there's some people out there who are watching, watching me and hoping that I don't succeed. My family name is almost cursed. And you guys know what they've done in the past, my family. Some people out there think that I might be involved with what had gone on We'll see how this plays out. But that's episode one, boys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like for episode two if you guys are hyped for that one. We'll see you guys then. Peace.